Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everyone is well. So it has come to be that time of the week again for our uh, weekly top and bottom of the deck. As this is now coming weekly until um, my son goes back to school. Just because it's very difficult for me to get anything done <laughs> while he is home on um, virtual learning. So... That's why you haven't seen very many readings this week. I apologize. We're still trying to figure out schedules and stuff. So, yeah, I, I you know, you make plans and the universe laughs. That's just the way it is. So, anyway, for those of you who are new here and not sure how we do this, I go by the elements. It is Scorpio season still. Scorpio is a water element, so I will start with the water elements and I will go around the wheel accordingly. It is general. Um, if it doesn't resonate with your sun, or, hmm, wow, I'm getting ahead of myself. It re if it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate with your sun sign, that's okay too. You can check the readings for your other placements, okay? If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just, you know, if it's not your story, if it's not your message, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But do keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and the cross watchers are always welcome here. Okay, let's uh, get it going. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November... And of course, I forgot to check the date, because I'm horrible about that, 20th, 21st. <sighs> 21st through the 27th. Okay. Get back in there. I got some new decks, too. So, <laughs> the cart, they were falling apart. They were all bent, they were wore out, they were tired. So, I've gone to my favorite bookstore the last couple of days and taken care of some business. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on in water signs? Nine of Pentacles upright, justice upright. I'm getting a sense that you're coming into your own. Very nice, very good. Things are coming back into alignment. Things are coming back into balance. Perhaps some of you were dealing with a legal matter. Possibly. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Hmm. Okay. What happened? Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords. We'll throw clarifiers on that in a second. I think on the surface things were well, but there was frustration. There was something possibly something hidden, something you didn't show the world, something that was binding you. Okay. 
two of wands in the reverse, ace of wands in the reverse. Some of you may have felt stuck at a crossroads for a time, not quite sure where to go. Nothing's happening. Things possibly were a little bit stagnant. Alright, what's coming in this week? Yep. Very nice water signs. Things are turning around. Getting back in control. Things are leveling out. I like it. I don't even think I need to clarify this. Hmm. source and spirit. Can I get just a little bit of clarity from my water sign friends, please, Mr. Pisces, Scorpio? I want to know what this Ten of Cups is all about. A funny feeling that some of you may have just been trying to save face. Everything's fine. Okay. Why is Ten of Cups here? Eight of Cups. Mm. Someone may have left the situation. Could have been you. Could have been them. Why the Eight of Swords? Page of Wands reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. Lost passion, lost direction, ca bound and caged, leading into the Two of Wands reversed, okay? And again, could have been you, could have been them. reversed came in without intention hmm somebody dumped a cup why is two of wands reversed here double reversed yeah Becoming unbound from what binds you. You may have been the one that walked away, possibly the other party. Sometimes when we unbind ourselves, we kind of lose direction. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed? Ten of Cups reversed. And that's how that happens. It wasn't all sunshine and roses. It wasn't moving forward. You weren't happy. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for what's coming in this week? I see you're regaining control. That's good. And Lover's card comes out. Perhaps things will be leveling off in the connection. <coughs> Why the lovers? 
Hi. Star reversed. Mm. Okay, why the emperor? Can I get a question out? Why the emperor? Ace of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> Leveling off, but still not roses. Regaining control. Someone may try coming back in from the cold. If it's the other, possibly could be the other person that left. If indeed someone did walk away for a minute. Somebody might be ended up out on the back porch. Hmm. Wow, okay. One of the Ace of Pentacles reversed, thanks. Ooh, that's a heartbreaker. Hmm. Well, water signs, let me know what happens. I have a feeling the other person involved may try to come in from the cold. Might be like, a, yeah, I, I was torn. I found out that the grass is not greener on the other side and it did not heal my ills to walk away. Let's get some advice. Five of Wands, King of Swords. I'm going to encourage you to try not to be argumentative or abrasive about this. You can command respect. And you can command the truth. without being argumentative. Don't let this become a throwdown. Because this is the last thing this situation needs right now. Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Cups in the upright. You need to be extremely careful of with pa which path you take with this because this is already on a already on a very shaky unsteady foundation. So be careful and be aware. I would choose your words wisely and your actions even more wisely. I see some, I definitely see somebody in the doghouse this, this coming week though, but let me know what happens. Okay. It feels good to be playing with new cards. Let me tell you. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 21st through the 27th.
Ten of Wands reversed, High Priestess reversed. High Priestess reversed. Some of you may have something you need to get off your chest or something you need to end or release. Possibly egos may have gotten involved in the degrading of a connection. You could possibly still feel this connection with this person. It's just not as strong as it was. Knight of Cups reversed, world reversed. Oh, wow. Cut off in communication, loss of the feels, business left unfinished, things left unfinished. Happened after that. All these cards are upside down. What's up with that? Page of Cups in the reverse, the Sun in the reverse. Still no communication. And again, that connection is still there, but it's not possibly not equally felt. You're definitely in separation. Could be a Leo. All right, what's coming in for this week? Still giving each other the silent treatment, but someone's juggling some emotions. Huh. Okay. If y'all ain't talking, haven't been talking, still ain't talking, what's going on? Hmm. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my fire sign friends, please? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. star. Indeed, there is still a healing process going on with this. The universe is still doing its work. I'm getting a sense that things are happening just the way they're supposed to be. Y'all are healing. Okay. Can I ask? Okay, I'll show you. Temperance. Patience. I'll pull it out. It's more of the flow, the energy flow. This is a matter of divine timing. This is requiring patience of the universe out of both of you. <laughs> okay? I'm leaving that alone. Cut off in communication. Something got left unfinished. Okay. Why is Page Cups here? Why is Page Cups reversed here?
Ten of Cups. So... He's playing his recorder out there. I'm not sure why. Yesterday was music day. Anyway, why the Ten of Cups? Why the Ten of Cups? Perhaps one or the other of you is remaining silent because you know the other person's happy, but you're still very emotionally hung up. Why is the sun reversed here? Two of Swords. Hmm, difficult decision being made. Why the Two of Swords? I'm not taking three cards. One card, please. Why the Two of Swords? Ten of Swords reversed. Pain hasn't ended for one of you. For some of you, it may hurt as much still as it did when it happened. You still very much feel this connection. trying to decide what the best course of action is. Do you say something or do you stay silent? That's a difficult decision. Hmm. All right. What about this week? Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here? Two of Cups. Well, wow. okay. Why the Two of Cups? Page of Swords upright, Death upright. I'm, I'm, I'm digging the death card right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm digging the death card. And I'm digging this page of swords. I have a funny feeling that someone is going to decide to end the silence. the death card. It is where it's spiritual metamorphosis. It's things ending and things beginning. It's, it's about the cycle of things. The nature of the cycle. I like this. I like that. So why the Two of Pentacles? Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here?
the world in the upright. Hmm? One more. Why the world? The chariot. If you're in a situation that has been lacking closure, you get your closure this week. The cycle finally being allowed to come to an end. Some of you may finally be able to move on from it. Finish your journey. Fire signs, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get a couple cards of advice. <clears throat> the Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Cups in the reverse. Don't. Don't mull over it. On with it or away from it, as I say. On with it or away from it. Either you're going to do it or you're not. You'll be no better nor worse off whether you keep your mouth shut or whether you open it and say something. So don't stress over whether or not you're going to reconnect with this person because, again, you'll be no better nor worse off. You're still going to be right where you are now, but at least you'll know and you'll get your closure and you'll be able to move on from it. Six of Wands in the reverse, Eight of Swords in the upright. Oh, I'm going to say it again. Don't let the fear of it not going the way you want it to go. If you're the one who feels like you need to reach out, if you feel like you're the one who's going to break silence, don't get all locked up But whether or not you're going to open your mouth because you're still going to be standing in the same place at the end of the conversation. It's where you go from there. So don't stress out about it. It is what it is, gang. Just live the, live the journey and have fun with it and let it do what it's going to do. If you choose to reach out, if you're the one who thinks you need to reach out, if you're the one being reached out to, don't stress over where that part of the journey takes you. Just do with it whatever you're going to do with it. I don't want to mix these cards up. I need to be careful. <laughs> it's that black border. Unless I look at the font, it really messes with me. All right. Where are we at? What are we doing for time? Okay. Still got to watch the clock. Okay. Air signs. I got the tattoo tarot. It's going to be my new air sign deck, so hold on one second. 